Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the closing ceremony of the fourth edition of the Mazayan Nasser bin Hamad Falcon Competition was held at the Conference Hall of the Gulf Hotel. The event was organized by the Heritage Sports Committee of the Bahrain Olympic Committee in the presence of a number of Falcon owners from Bahrain and GCC countries. His Highness Sheikh Nasser crowned the winners of the competition. His Highness affirmed that the Heritage Sports has witnessed great development due to the directions and support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa as these sports represent the national identity and the values of the Bahraini society. He regarded the competition as an important event as it provides Falcon owners a chance to shed light on other Falcon features besides their speed and strength, noting the importance of supporting Falcon owners and elevating their capabilities. His Highness also praised the efforts exerted by the Heritage Sports Committee, which reflected the level reached by the Kingdom in organizing these events. Vice Chairman of the Supreme Committee of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the 15th horse race for the season yesterday as part of Al Sharif Cup, Crown Industries Cup, and World Arabian Horse Organization Cup. The race was also attended by Sheikh Sultan al Din bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, and Sheikh Nadir bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, as well as representatives or sponsors and horse racing enthusiasts. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman received the Al Sharif Cup from Isa Khalid al Sharif after the victory of his horse Evergate. Al Sharif also presented to the winner of the first half to Hisham Haddad and the second half cup to the winner James Neller, while the operations supervisor at Crown Industries, Adil Asiri, presented the cup of the fourth half to the winner James Neller and the fifth cup to the winning owner Hadi Ibrahim. The general manager of the Rashid Club for Equestrian and Horse Racing, Tawfiq Al Alawi, presented the Wahoo Cup to the winner Anas Siabi.
The first race of the afternoon for the Alster Reef Cup was won by number three Pulsar, and that's owned by Abdullah Fauzi Nas, ridden by Hussein Mackey, and trained by a very happy Hisham Al Haddad. Hisham, congratulations, a, a very decisive win. Thank you very much. It was a very good win for him. Um, unfortunately, he didn't break well at the beginning, he went very slow. We were a bit worried. Um, until he got to the last um, 600 meters, he started to kick in. And, and he, he was ahead at the right time. Yeah. But now it's a 2,000 meter race, so that, that's a, a, a quite a long race. Plenty of time to recover, even if it is a bad start. Yeah, it is, but uh, fortunately they went very slow at the beginning. So he managed to cover the, um, to cover the gap that was created when he was a bit late. Um, they're still immature horses, they're still building up, they're growing up now. Um, we can't be uh, very sure about their performance, so we were worried a bit about the other contenders with us. But uh, thankfully he did perform very well and managed to get us the race. He certainly did perform well. Now what about the rest of the afternoon? Do you, are you feeling lucky now for some more of the races? Um, unfortunately this is our only runner for today, so it's uh, 100%. Second race of the afternoon, again for an Al Sharif Group Cup, was won by horse number seven, Sahil, and that's owned by Al, Al Walad Syndicate, and uh, ridden by Brett Doyle, trained by Jimmy Naylor. Jimmy, congratulations. Uh, you're a little bit out of sync sequence this week. You normally uh, go off and yeah, win the first race. Yeah, we got mixed up. I think they should have ran the second race first and keep everything in order, no? <laughs> but it, it was a good, clear win. Tell yeah. us about it. No, she's, she's only three years old. It was a very good victory. She's um, three-year-old running only for the third time in her life, and she's improving quickly. And uh, wh what about the rest of the afternoon? Do you have some more runners that you uh, yeah. are feeling quietly confident about? We've only got two more runners. We're not quietly confident, but we're hopeful. Race number three for the World Arabian Horse Organization, or Wahoo Cup, was won by horse number six, that's Al Saklawi, and it's owned by Victoria Stable, ridden by Anas Al Siabi, and trained by a very happy Yusuf Tahar. Yusuf, congratulations. I'm really getting used to seeing this big <laughs> smile on your face every week. Thank you, thank you. Sure, I am happy when my horse is coming the place is one and second. This is not normal for the race. It's coming, bring three horse and two horse in the place and one and the second. I am too much happy and my rider is again is coming and I see happy last season I bring him and now again and every race I bring Anas Siabi and uh, Abdullah and Hussein Makki. It was a, a great finish because uh, he didn't cut, break through until the last couple of hundred meters and, and then it was a very decisive win. No, the, the, the start for the race is very fast and uh, Girard is go fast first when he got jumping for the gate start. And uh, my horse, Saglau, is the last horse when you see him. And step by step he's coming and after two forning you push him and he's coming easy win. And race number five for the Crown Industries Cup. Six runners taking part in the race. It was won by number three, that star boy from Alafu Racing Stable, ridden by Brett Doyle. And with me now is Hadi Alafu. Hadi, that was a very tight race. You, you, your heart must have been in your mouth watching the finish. It was pounding, honestly, yeah. Um, it was very close. Brett Doyle did well. Um, we weren't sure, to be honest, when we were upstairs, so we had to wait for the results to come out. But it was a very tight, nice race, yeah. But it must be very satisfying to, to win a race like that when it's so close. It, uh, sometimes you win by a great distance, but I suppose a win is a win no matter which. Yeah, but it's, it's nicer when it's a tight race, isn't it? Because, I mean, there's more, it's much more of a build-up, it's much more suspense. And, I mean, it was, quite, it was very tight. I, I don't know, maybe a nose length, I, I'm not sure. And maybe a lot more to talk about afterwards when you, when you analyse the race and talk it over with the jockey. Yes, inshallah. Three of this afternoon's cup races are sponsored by the Al Sharif Group, and with me is Isa Al Sharif. Isa, it's uh, great to have sponsorship at these equestrian events, and you're sponsoring three of them. Yeah, it's an honour to be a part of this event. You know, horse racing in Bahrain has a long history, it's part of the culture. I believe um, all companies should be as supportive as they can uh, towards sports because uh, sports uh, promote unity, they create a great atmosphere. And in general, the people of Bahrain love sports, so again, it's an honor to be a part of this great event and hopefully we'll be supporting it on a usual basis for the years to come. Race number seven, the final race of the afternoon for the Al-Sharif Group Cup, was won by horse number one, that's uh, 
owned by Al Adias Racing, um, ridden by Jared Mosley and trained by a very happy Alan Smith. Alan, congratulations. Uh, it was a, a close enough there for, for coming into the last furlong or two. Yes, yeah, it was. Um, he, he sort of comes off the pace like that. That's how he likes to race. He saves his best till last. And that's the important part, isn't it? Uh, a nice way to finish off what has been a splendid afternoon of horse racing here. Yes, yeah, it's been good racing, good racing. Uh, yes, yeah, it's been some nice close finishes and, um, yeah, not a bad afternoon. A, a very big field in that in that second last race. I think there were 15 horses in, in that one. Yes, in the 1800, and a nice finish to boot, wasn't it? Yeah, three horses in a close finish. Unfortunately, mine was third, but there you are. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, headed the Bahraini delegation in the fourth forum of public finance in the Arab states that was held in Dubai, which was organized by the International Monetary Fund and the Finance Ministry of the UAE. The minister affirmed that Bahrain is keen on the, is on the right track to achieve the goals of its financial balance program of 2018 to reach a balancing between expenditures and revenues of the kingdom's general budget. He affirmed that a number of initiatives and programs were adopted to enhance the economic development and encourage investment as well as provide job opportunities according to the principles of justice, sustainability and competitiveness according to the Economic Vision 2030. He also highlighted that the estimates of the financial results of the ministries and agencies in the light of the completion of the first closing of the budget accounts for the fiscal year 2018 showed a decrease in the budget deficit by 35 percent compared to fiscal year 2017. He also pointed out that the results are successful according to the indicators of performances measurement and the positive reactions of the international financial markets and the international rating agencies as well as the Arab Monetary Fund. These results confirm the Kingdom's approach towards reaching a balance between revenues and expenditures and achieve all that would be beneficial to the development of the country and its people, noting the continuous follow-up of the implementation of the financial balance program effectively to ensure the achievement of the desired objectives and adapt them to local economic developments and to take advantage of economic growth and increasing government revenues to keep pay with positive growth in the non-oil sectors. The minister affirmed that the forum aims to tackle current challenges, exchange expertise and implement strategies to achieve sustainable development. The Bahraini delegation included CBB's Governor Rashid Al Maraj, the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Finance Hamid Al Malki and senior officials. Meanwhile, the Minister of Finance and National Economy met with the Managing Director of the IMF on the sidelines of the Fourth Forum of Public Finance in the Arab States in the presence of the CBB's Governor. He affirmed keenness to continue enhancing the economic environment of the Kingdom as well as enhance its cooperation with different financial and banking sectors to strengthen the development process and achieve economic diversity. The meeting also included discussing topics regarding regional and international developments as well as updates regarding implementing the financial balance program in the Kingdom and its objectives to achieve economic development and maintain stability.